Welcome everyone to University Stadium, home to the Lobos of the University of New Mexico, and the fans here are fired up for this clash. Today, a couple of Sunbelt rivals ready to square off. As we'll see, the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles taking on the New Mexico Lobos. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. We'll kick it away to start. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Lobos offense takes the field to start this game off. There he is, the man who makes everything go, and they believe they're going to score every time they touch it when he's on the field, Jesse. He plays with unbelievable confidence, Reese. Always knows where to go with the football. The entire playbook is at this guy's disposal. Yeah, which is so much fun for a coach. So much fun to play with him. A guy that can do everything. Everybody on the field is active in a weapon. Grabbed behind the line. It's Sullivan. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill and getting in the back. Fires one high and deep. Catch inside the 30 and still running. Touchdown, New Mexico. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. To talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he's coming out of the end zone. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Golden Eagles offense has the ball for the first time. Line gets set, first down. his man on the left. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. And they'll come to the line with less than a yard to go. From the gun, give on the inside. And the Golden Eagles get it past the sticks. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. He'll do it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And here comes the offense on second down. It's a draw. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Gives it to the back on the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Golden Eagles decide to punt it away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Gets off his first one of the day. He was called on five times in the victory last week. Let's see what the Lobos offense has in store. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great... He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. Makes the catch down the right side. Touchdown, Lobos! A great catch and run for six. Each and every week, I think this coaching staff does such a good job of scheming ways to get this guy the football in the passing game, and defenses can't cover him. With that last catch, this is now his 10th receiving touchdown on the season. 
And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. They'll put this one in play for a snap of the drive from the 25. He'll come out throwing on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Mims. They make the stop after the catch. It's still some work to do to pick up that first down. Here comes the offense on second down. Trying play action. Looking to the big tight end. Wide open downfield. Turns it on down the left side. And he slipped through the crowd and he'll house it. Touchdown, Southern Mississippi. How about him? Nice job catching the football and then turn it into a playmaker. Turn it into a, a small wide receiver. The tight end shows off the ability to run after the catch, make a big play, and get the big touchdown. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Looking for blockers. He was looking for the big return there, but he'll go out of bounds at the 28. We will get another look at this New Mexico offense. Boy, that last touchdown, the one play quick strike score. Jesse, this offense hoping to keep that kind of explosiveness going. And I don't know if they're going to get the same looks defensively because of just how explosive that play was, Reese. David, they may be seeing a little bit more uh, off coverage on this drive and maybe some softer boxes to run into. And when you make that kind of explosive play, you're going to put the defense on its heels. They're going to be a little bit more conservative. So this offense approach now, maybe I don't have to go deep. I can go a little bit shorter and just make those easy plays underneath. Another incompletion on third down. And the Lobos will punt this one away. Gets the first one of the day out of there. He ought to be fresh. They only used him twice in that victory last week. And now this offense will take the field again. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Finds a man on the right. At the 35, he's open. Delivers the contact. Touchdown, Southern Miss. And once he got loose, it was all over. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. And we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage, defenses are going to have to get something figured out. Getting set for the point the after. Is on for the extra point. Splits the upright. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Let's see what the Lobos offense has dialed up this time. Looking for a productive play on first down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Got to be smart. Patient, great vision, uses all of that to get to the 29. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. They'll run play action. They're bringing heat. Slide, and the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. The Lobos send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Now a fair catch is called for him, made just shy of midfield. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. 
How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop. He's loose. Inside the 10. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Southern Mississippi. When you have so many playmakers on offense like they do, they can score quickly. <laughs> you just saw it right there. And with the extra point, the score is now 21-14. to Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. New Mexico, 14. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. First down here for the offense. On the run, it's Sanders. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Yeah, and on money down defensively, you've got to find ways to affect the quarterback. Nice job by the defense getting the pressure, getting to him, getting a hit on him, and forcing the incompletion, and now forcing the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. The fair catch called for and made. Southern Mississippi has it back, and the Golden Eagle offense headed to the field. Line gets set, first down. Handoff to the lone back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Out of the gun. The inside handoff looking for a crease. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. And the Golden Eagles will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. You couldn't dial it up much better than that as he knocks it out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Now New Mexico will go back to work on offense. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. Maurice, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that you want to see on the field. You want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down a little bit. These last few drives, looks like he's seeing ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple of throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. Steps away to find some room. On the move, he fires. Incomplete. Man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. Second and ten here. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? Back to throw. It's Dampier. Trying to escape and get it himself. He gets the job done. Picking up the first down, then getting down. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. He's going to pass. Coming after it. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down.
They'll immediately call timeout. Timeout, New Mexico. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Several defenders there to get him on the ground. Well, the defense may have been caught off guard a little bit on that play. It was second and long. They weren't expecting the run. So now we've got third and manageable, and they've got to be wondering to themselves, is this offense going to try to run the ball again here? No, he just flat ran over it. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And the O will stay out there and go for it on fourth and inches. They'll try to pick up the first. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. Here comes the offense on first down. Here's the handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And a great job by the linebacker. You can tell, starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Well, there's just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. As a result, they lose yardage. And the running game has been going in the wrong direction. They'll try to get their first positive play of the drive here on third down. Moves around to clear up the vision. Oh, he just avoided taking a big hit with the slide. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. And the punt goes out of bounds. We'll check the spot. I think they'll have it right around the 40-yard line. Let's see what the Lobos offense has in store. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this offense, they can stay aggressive knowing that their defense is going to bail them out time and time again. Yeah, and especially when you go for those fourth down situations, you do that a lot of times because you know your defense can make stands, make stops. They did on that last possession for you. They stop him at the 42, but they're on a roll with a pickup of 15 and a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Rams him with the stiff arm. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. And the Lobos will snap it on first and ten. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Caught over the middle, it's Miller. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. I don't know if that was a bust defensively, but there was nobody in the middle of the field that time, making it way too easy for the offense to pick up a chunk play in the middle. Got a man. It's Sanders. Touchdown, New Mexico! And they take it in for six more points. All even up after that one. Basically a brand new game. And with a tie, guess what? Back to the offense. Back to the offense. Which defense can get a stop? These offenses have been hard. And he tacks on the extra point. And we're all square as he sets to kick it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Offense getting set for first down. They'll try the run. At the 35, he's loose. And a big hit at the end, but it didn't stop him from getting the first down. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. They'll give it to him again. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. 
Playoff play action. Shoots it to the left. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball? Receiver could get it. The goal to move quickly. Hand off from the gun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Mims. Touchdown, Southern Miss. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. You know, long touchdown passes don't have to come in the shape of go routes and posts. You can throw a slant. If your guy is able to make one dude miss and build up some steam, when you've got speed like that, you can take it to the house, and that's exactly what he did. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Get another look at this New Mexico offense. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I gotta score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. The run from the shotgun. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Well, he was able to gash him on that play. You just give this guy one inch, one little crease. He puts his foot in the ground. He gets north fast. Trying to get to him. He'll pull it down and run. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Offense gets set for second down. Dropping back, it's Dampier. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. He'll let one go down the right side. And, and you knew he was going to take a step back because you can't throw the ball for over 80% of the season. Like, that's ridiculous. Last week he was on fire, but this week, man, he's freezing cold. And he's got to find something to get this offense going. But right now, just off target. Somebody needs to step up, make a play, and maybe get a spark for this offense. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Pulls it in. It's Sanders. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pick up and a first down for this offense. The Lobos come to the line with a fresh set of downs. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Well, the physicality of the secondary on defense, that defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. From the gun, they'll try the middle. You know, as a defense, you kind of want to force the get on the RPO. You want them to run the football, and you can tell. Maybe the quarterback wishes he pulled this. Small gain, but some information you gathered, maybe. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. Yeah, how about this defense, man? That's the third sack of the day. They've been putting pressure, getting him on the ground. Not something they've been good at throughout this season. This defense playing better because they're getting more pressure on the quarterback. On fourth down, going to the air. He lobs one high down the left side. Touchdown, Lobos! Reeled it in and just made the house call. Boy, these off. 
defenses are just making it look easy. Defense option in college football nowadays. So many weapons, so much speed on the field, so hard to defend. Defense, I, I don't know how you play it. I really don't. Just try to get a stop, beg for one, please. And he made the extra point without problem. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. He'll start the return inside his 25. Nice return there, and he'll be dragged down at the 34. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. He wants to start this drive with a pass. He's going to take off, and he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. One more snap coming before juice boxes and orange slices. He's looking for a man on second down quickly out to the tight end and he picked up the first down but he will remember the price he paid after that hit first half in the books time now to join kevin connors and our halftime update guys looks like you've got a great atmosphere today in albuquerque each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses Man or zone, nothing seems to be working. And I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at University Stadium. All right, Kevin about ready to get things cranked back up here. We've got a good one going here in the third quarter, all tied up as he's set to kick it away. Great starting point, grabs it inside his 25, and here he comes. And the returner goes down. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. Going to the run to start this second half. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn and they continue to run the football even with little success so this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football you can tell and he was on his way gets it all the way to the 38 off play action on first down fires to the middle pulls it in and it is a chunk play a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. And the incompletion brings up a second down. Leaves it with the running back. Relying on that running game as they threaten to pick up a four down to the 13. They love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Mims. Touchdown, Southern Mississippi. And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire. You might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Let's see what the Lobos offense has dialed up this time. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. Getting some... And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, the fumble, and the defense got it. And he's brought down in this defense. Back for
for a toe. The offense set for a... the play fake now to throw the defense just simply not fooled by the play action oftentimes in offense you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushes but man oh man they had their ears pinned back on second down wants to throw grabs it in the middle they bring him down but a solid pick up to put them in position to pick up a first down it's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. And it's nice to be the middle of the field safety. That's my responsibility. I own the middle. If you want to come across the middle, I'm going to hit you. If you want to throw it across the middle, I'm going to do a good job breaking on the football. Unbelievable job. You've got to have vision on the quarterback. See it, break it, go get it. Give me that INT. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard game. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll give it to the back. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. This offense all game long has been running really well, and I'm really impressed by how well they've recruited at the running back position. They've got some dynamic players coming into the game at different points, spelling each other, keeping each other fresh, and they're hurting this defense. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. He lost one down the sideline. He makes a grab. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, New Mexico. You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. Ready to try the point after. And after that extra point, we have a tie ball game in the third quarter. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Maryland is currently working from behind. But how many times have we said that and then witnessed something special happen? This time of year, you never know. It's still a one-score game. They're trailing by eight to Michigan. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. They really got things moving on this drive. Second play of the drive comes from the 37. At midfield, he's got room. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And the Golden Eagles want to crank the tempo. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense in their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the defense to the right side for a big play. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Going to the running game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That back got thumped, and that happened fast. That linebacker got in there so quick. And the most important thing for the back, when you see that coming, make sure that football is riveted to your rib cage. You lose the football, you lose the ability to carry the football. Coaches are going to give that squarely to somebody else. The Golden Eagles will have it first and ten. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Pushing ahead, a tough run. Picks up four. It's down at the 15. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking for room. It's great. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Great shot at a field goal from here. You don't want to be reckless and take it off the board, but you got to go for the score. Pressure coming. Trying to get rid of it. The little soft flip pass falls incomplete. 
And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And he'll try to knock it through from the right hash and 35 yards out. And this one splits the uprights. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Now New Mexico will go back to work on offense. Quarterback will audible. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. After the incompletion, looking at second down. Looking to throw. It's Dampier. Fires it incomplete. And I'm kind of surprised by this performance, man. The QB last week, you could tell, dude, he was he was in rhythm. He was good timing. You could tell the chemistry with receivers were good. And today, everything just looks off. And it just, it looks hard. It looks difficult. They got to find a way to get back in the rhythm they were in last week. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You gotta love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. Whoop de do. You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and so. Southern Mississippi has it back, and the Golden Eagle offense headed to the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. Man, I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now for this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Now facing a third and long from the 50 yard line. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. On third and long, he's gonna have to throw for it. Grabbed over the middle, it's Thomas. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. They'll snap it from the 34 on first and 10. 42 Spider. 42 Spider. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. At the 20, he's got space. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. We've reached the end of the quarter, guys, and Southern Mississippi has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. They're going to ride this running back. Pulled down after picking up five to the six-yard line. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Handoff to the single running back. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll... And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Oh, and he missed it. No good. It's still a three-point game after the miss. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. see what the Lobos offense has in store. A lot of field in front of them as they open this possession from their own 20. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain.
no game on the play. Brings up. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. To the air. It's Dampier. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. And it's been a long day for this offense. If you can't protect your quarterback, it's hard to be successful. That's the fifth sack they have given up. The offensive coordinator has no answers, and this defense has been flying around. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. The offense pops it up, and they were on the move. The defense snatches it, and they're going the other way. Dude, let's go. I mean, this, this game was basically over, right? We just forced a huge play. Great job by the defense, giving their offense a chance now. Man, it looked like it was over. Now we got a chance. Offense, go down the field, stick this thing in the end zone. We can win this ball game. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. First down, Used the play fake, now to throw. He tries to take the top off and is knocked away and incomplete the defensive back, staying in phase and batting it away. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. On the ground, it's Jacobs. Really nice run there, good solid pickup and they'll move the sticks for the first down. And I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40, I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. They make the stop, give him three yards on the carry. Ball's at the 24. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line, second and seven. Looking downfield, it's Dampier. They're working that left side. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. And the Lobos come to the line with a new set of downs. To the air on first down. Quarterback moving. This time, they were able to keep him in check and stop him short of that first down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. He wants to throw here on second down. He's got it and still on his feet. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They turn to the passing game on third and short. Touchdown, Lobos! And they've moved up front here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Clemson is currently ahead early right now in Death Valley, but they just haven't been able to separate themselves offensively. They're up by seven over Duke. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Trying to convert this second and short. Takes the handoff. It's Gray. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. What a play call in a two-minute situation. They find the shot opportunity, and they take advantage of it, flipping the field. They've now put themselves in a chance to come back and win this thing. Okay, 
Offense threatening, first and 10 from the 31. He's looking to throw it right down the middle. Got his man downfield. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And the Golden Eagles have pushed it inside the 20. They'll keep it on the ground. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Timeout called by the defense is their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. Out of the shotgun on third down. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. Down four late. They have to convert on fourth down to keep hope alive. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. Offense set on first down. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. you got to believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets them up to the 24. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Line is set on third down. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Tackle is made after the first down. And that's what I love about this offense, man. They, they run the football and get first downs. They throw the football and get first downs. So much balance. That's why they're the number two offense in all of college football getting first downs. They are so hard to defend. Well, this was an offensive showcase out there today. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it certainly delivered. If you love offense, then you love this type of game. Both offenses going up and down the field, seemingly at will, throwing the ball, running the ball. But, David, I feel like if you're a fan of defense, maybe this wasn't your cup of tea. Uh, more defense optional. <laughs> you didn't really get too much of that stuff. But, you know, listen, you got to get a few stops late in the game. you got to get one, actually, just kind of one stop with this many points that's being scored. you got the stop late that's why you got the dub that's gonna do it for us from here for jesse palmer david pollock i'm reese davis and this has been another presentation of ea Sports.